a gentleman in the bed diagonally from me, he, had, he was terminal. Two days before the doctors said he was going to die. There was nothing more they could do for him. He had liver disease, a liver failure. So I knew he was going to die. And um, on the day that I left at six o'clock in the morning, he died. Uh, and then the doctors rushed to save him and one and a half hours of what looked like a Hollywood ER production, which I found quite comical because why would you try and recess a guy that you yourself said is terminal and can't come back? I thought, but this is a joke. And while I was thinking this was a joke, they left. Um, and then they left his body there for hours, perhaps three to four hours. And I lay here, he lay there. Um, while I was in that ward, there were about a hundred flies that used to fly around near the ceiling. They didn't come down to my level. It's funny, they used to stay up at the ceiling, so they didn't bug me. And I never got upset about it. And also because I can't breathe properly, I didn't want someone to come and spray do. So they were my little friends as long as they stayed away from me. But when this guy died, those flies went to his dead body. And about another 200 flies came through the window and went and sat on this dead guy for hours. And then they started coming to me. So then I was lying there with flies that had come from the dead person, yeah. trying to wipe them off my skin. They were walking over my water glass. And I thought, I don't know what kind of diseases they're bringing back and forth. And I thought, maybe now I've got a health problem. I could pick something up in this ward if I stay here with these flies. And I decided I've had enough of the treatment by the doctors. I don't feel safe in this hospital. And I'm not happy with flies coming from a dead guy for hours and coming to sit on me. I think I'm going to RHT myself out of here. And I'm going to try and find another way to get um, health, uh, a health care solution for my problem.